everybody, it's Christopher Not Walking. Welcome to the Dirty Nerdy Show. And with me today, we have a few special guests. That's right. We got Pandastic ASMR. And we got Vix. Vix, tell them your channel name because you know I can't pronounce that shit. <laughs> it's Bulpacula ASMR. Yeah, yeah. Links will be down below. So, let's kick this thing off. Guys, uh, welcome to the show. Uh, hi, thank you so much. Yeah, thank you, thank you guys for coming on. And uh, the first question is, how'd you guys find ASMR? Uh- <laughs> well, actually, I found it um, through psychology classes because I took psych in um, university. And uh, that's when I had been introduced into it. And... I had kind of like gone and tried to look up information on what it was and was more interested in it uh, from a psychological standpoint, more so at that point in time than, I guess, listening to it. Yeah, yeah. And uh, I thought it was really, really interesting. Fantastic. ASMR. Yes. Yeah, What's I that? practiced that name, y'all. I'm so proud of myself. Um, <laughs> so uh, <laughs> I wanted to ask you, how'd you start uh, with the thing? How'd you, how'd you find ASMR? I actually found it on total accident. Um, I was looking at, for um, female vampires um, killing victims or whatever like that, and you know, you know, you know, as you know, as one normally does when they try to go to sleep. And I saw one that says ASMR um, sucking your blood, and it was from um, 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 Indigo Stars. So I, okay, whatever. So I click it, and I'm listening to it, and I, all I see is like a, a still image of, of 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 her, and she's talking. So I thought I thought it was buffering or whatever. So like whatever. So I just listened listen to the audio. I'm thinking like, damn, this is like really good. This is really good. Like I actually feel like it's happening to me. Plus, because I was you know probably a little bit drunk and tired at the, t- at the time. So like this is good. So one the next night I I looked her up again, and she has like a list of videos. And then through that I found a sea foam kitten, Nora. And then I, I I fell in love with her um small character, her her and everything else and. And then after that, I discovered Sati Kalashes, and that's how I discovered ASMR and yeah. all the other cool content. <laughs> uh, what do you think is the reason that it took all of this time for ASMR to become a thing? Did, do you think that YouTube had to happen first? I feel like it likely would have, but it would have taken much longer. Yeah. Uh, I agree because, you know, even if even like when I never had access to videos, I would listen to podcasts. And with the podcast, you can like generally like imagine what the what they look like when they're laughing and goofing off. So I feel that like, even if like YouTube didn't exist, you know, God forbid or, wh- or whatever forbid, you know, I'm pretty sure some people would find some way to um, upload it to iTunes or or SoundCloud or whatever. And, oh, like listen to me, put you to sleep, or listen to me make make vampire noises or whatever. And you know, at least um, we would have that. But um, to be honest, yeah, I, I, I believe it's the same. It would, it would take a lot longer. Collaboration. And uh, how it came about, and uh, what are you guys' plans for future collaborations and stuff? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> well, I actually came up, came up with the idea, you know, just out of nowhere because oh, actually, I heard I heard a voice when she did something with I think um, Master Missy, uh, the um, erotic poetry reading. Yeah. I'm thinking, wow, like <laughs> she has a really nice voice. So I'm thinking, okay, you know, vampires, sexy boys, put it together. You know, you have a you have a, you have a vampire somewhere. So I said, hey. Like, um, do you want to, like, do this? You know, it's just an idea. Like, you don't have to, you know, I just want to collab with you. She's like, oh, sure, you know. So I said, okay, I'll write your script and everything. And then she sent me her parts, and I did mine, and we put it together, and we we, we, we just shot it, and it was awesome. And a uh, future collab, I, I believe, hopefully, that she is uh, working on, on, a, on, a, on a script, and where she, I, I, I'm training her, and she becomes full vampire. But, you know. Oh, yeah. Yep, I am working on that script. Oh, how do you, uh, because you mentioned earlier that you you, you write these scripts out, because we were talking before, and we should have a little something extra, so you guys might get to hear that later. Um, but, uh, what's your process for writing scripts out? To be honest, um, I do a trick that my, that my, um, one of my um, English professors taught me, and... It's, uh, she said, when you have an idea, just do it. You know? The fact that you can use autism and be like, bam, I'm in it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm in this shit. I'm going to win no matter what. The fact that you can do that, that's, that's fucking dope. You know what I mean? Thank you. Thank and, you. Thank uh, you. Thank you. 
Yeah. So, like, you know, I, I just wanted to, you know, tell you that. And, and Vix, I have a question for you, and then we're going to get into some fan questions, okay? Um, so, you started out on the audio scene, right? And, uh, yes. The, the sexy side of uh, <laughs> things. Um, yes. Uh, and, and there is an intimacy of uh, within, you know, ASMR. My question to you is, uh, how do you toe that line now that you're in the ASMR community and, you know, knowing that it can be an intimate thing but not necessarily wanting to cross lines? Because I, I know you and I know that you necessarily don't really want to necessarily cross things. I, I like that. to, so how do you, <laughs> yeah, I like to keep things separate sometimes. Yeah, how do you, how do you tiptoe the line and, 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 and how do you decide um, where well, something that I would do, that you would do in an audio that you necessarily wouldn't do on the ASMR? Um, well, I mean, um, well, I mean, it's easy enough. You just wouldn't include any sexual content. But the thing I think people seem to, um, I guess, be opposed to is the fact that ASMR can be a sensual thing. Um, yeah, yeah. You know, um, and and I find that there's kind of a divide in the community about that, which makes me a little sad. <laughs> Because um, there is a, a, a response to something that is sensual or or sexual can be very similar, if not the same. You get the tingles, um, you know, um, you get the shivers. It it can be not necessarily um, excitable, but it can be very euphoric. Um, but generally, if it comes to doing, like, for example, a... Uh, um, a girlfriend type role play um, um, in ASMR, I would just keep it more um, sweet and kind of sensual as opposed to crossing that line over into overtly sexual. But uh, we, we have some uh, some fan questions from the Twitter. Oh dear. And, oh dear. And from my DM that Nora sent me. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so, you, you guys ready for this? Alright, let's do it. Alright, the first two questions are from Nadia Kasky. I can never say her name and I apologize. I am so sorry because she is, she, uh, this person, you know, tweets out everything. Uh, yeah. I know, she's so great. She retweets it. It's, she's so nice. Yeah. I know. Shout out to Nadia. Yeah, Nadia, what's up? Uh, well, you know, um, her first question is, how long have you done ASMR for? So, guys, hit me with the answer. Um, for me, it's it's been under two months, I believe, almost two months. Um, and I'm surprised how much I've I've not blown up, but how much I've you know gained a following. And yeah, two months. Uh, you, Vix? Um, officially, almost three months. It'll be three months on June twenty first. Um, but I've been putting people to sleep with audios for a while now. <laughs> Our second question is, what is your favorite animal? <laughs> uh, oh, well, I mean, if you couldn't already tell. <laughs> no, uh, my, it, it has to be a panda. I mean, pandas, they're, they're so cute and adorable and loving, like me. And I've always, I've always liked, liked them. You know, they're so cool. And when I heard they were in danger, I was like, oh, fuck. So... You know, if should should they ever, you know, forbid, you know, disappear? At least I have one tatted on my arm. Uh, I, I follow up question: Do you got broads in Atlanta? Uh, no. I wish. What about Coconut Phantom? <laughs> nope. No, no Phantom. <clears throat> no, no broads <throat> in Atlanta. Okay. Um. <laughs> <laughs> you okay, Vix? Um, I think <laughs> if it hasn't become obvious yet, the fox. The fox is my favorite animal. I am very much the fox girl. Um, my character, the one that I use in a lot of my role plays, especially the um, the like SCP and fear role plays, is a fox girl. Yeah. Um, very much like myself. 
Uh, so yes, it would always be the fox. The fox is my spirit animal. They're mostly hard to, like, at least here. I hear in England they're, like, everywhere. But here you don't see foxes as much. They kind of keep to themselves. They're um, quiet creatures. And they're kind of like the perfect cross between a dog and a cat. So they're, like, wily and... and uh, um, uh, I don't know. It's 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 great. They're loyal, but they're wily, so they're kind of like in between. Follow up question to you: What does the fox say? I was you, you <laughs> took the words out of my mouth. <laughs> they mur. They go. <laughs> there you go. The uh, the big uh, the big mystery has been solved. They mur. <laughs> they mur. ASMR people, aka Jason. What up, Jason? Oh, Jason. Well, Hi. Uh, he writes, vampires seem to be very popular in ASMR. What do you think its ap- its appeal is? Um, to me, I think it it all started with the original vampire, um, Dracula, and with starring B- um, Bela Lugosi, and um, you know, he's the one that you know created the the stereotype, you know, the you know the bleh, you know, I want to so like and everything like that. And I think as as time went on, you know, vampires were always seen as his like. Like sexual, these like sex gods and romantic, and you know they'll they'll always love you, and you know they'll like fight to the death for you, and you know and you know then it got all kind of like you know excuse my language, but you know fruity with Twilight, you know oh I sparkle and you know and you know I also like you know weird stuff, you know and I don't know to me I think it's it's more of like a of a glamour glamorous glamour glorified romantic image that they give off, you know. Yeah, yeah. What about you, Vix? Um, I feel like the reason that it's appealing in ASMR is that, um, like uh, Panda said, there is like a certain romanticism about it, um, about the concept of someone kind of like of belonging to someone and of um, um, kind of they're going to look after you, they're going to take care of you. But there's also, again, the sensual side. Um, plus, it just has, there's a lot of sounds that could uh, work really well as triggers, like the uh, the slurping sound, um, the idea that they're kind of these nighttime creatures that, um, you know, they find you and they lure you in with this kind of seductive, sensual voice and, um, you know, uh, <laughs> it, I feel like that might have something to do with it as well. Yeah, yeah. Um, Plus, vampires are really popular, and role play is also really popular in ASMR. Uh, so it does kind of end up hitting um, uh, a different kind of niche as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so we have uh, a few more questions, and they are from the Foam Kitten. And the- Ooh, hi, Nora. <laughs> yeah. Nora. And then we're going to wrap this thing up. Nora would like to know what your favorite snack is. Mine has to be extra hot Cheetos, but but if when I'm feeling crazy, I put them in like a little um, Tupperware bowl and I drench it with like the um the bottled um uh, lime juice and I and I also drench it with um either Tabasco or Tapatio and oh my god it's good. I make sure to eat that at, right before I go to bed and when I go to bed I immediately watch a vampire video uh, ASMR video and I have like. The bomb dream, the bombest dreams. You know, I mean, I mean, not as bomb as when I drink absinthe, but they're bomb dreams. Like I, I never want to wake up. Um, oh, I, I don't know. I'm trying to think of like the favorite, but like I, I'm a food person, so, um, whew, that's you might hard. Establish a top three. Uh, yeah, that might be easier. Um, I guess top three would be uh, ketchup chips. I have a l- weird love for ketchup chips. Why is that um, such a thing in Canada? Like It's because it's like, <laughs> it's sweet and savory at the same time. So it's, it's like so the best weird. of both worlds. <laughs> the second would be actually maple cookies. Those things are absolutely fantastic. They taste like, I- it's so hard to explain. They're like, they're shaped like maple leaves. And... They have, like, this, like, maple-flavored center, and they're really, really addictive. Like, you just go to eat one, and you end up eating, like, half the box in one <laughs> sitting. Oh, you, my God. And then you cry about it later. But, <laughs> 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 uh, 
Um, and the third, oh, it's hard because it's snacks, but I would totally go with, like, a food. <laughs> um, uh, snack, 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 snack. Probably, I, um, I really like bugles. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, boy. Put those on your fingers. Because they're salty. Like, <laughs> which fingers? You got to put them on your finger, man, you know? like. It, yeah, and then you eat them off your fingers. Yeah. <laughs> that's, yeah. That's, that's what you do with them. Um, yeah, it's it's true. Coming on the show. Thank you for having me. Uh, us. Yeah. Thank you for having yeah. us. Thank you. Yeah. It's been a blast. It, it was fun. I liked it. It was fun. But, I, I had a great time. But yeah, uh, listen, everybody out there in the world of listening to YouTube land, um, <laughs> if you like this video, go ahead and smash that like button. Just hit it. Hit that like button. And then, do it. And then, Just do it. And then unlike it. it and then and then like it again. Uh, <laughs> and then uh, if you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe. And you know, uh, if you uh, if you've done all of those things, and you're like, what else can I do to support the show? Well, you don't have to sound like Bill Cosby when you do it. But like, um, <laughs> if, if you want to support the show further, we have a Patreon button. You'll see it right about now, and uh, you can go over there. And just for one dollar, you can get early access, and you can get uh, extended interviews, all sorts of cool things. My name is Christopher, not walking. And that's Vix. And Panda, <laughs> Panda, Panda. I got bro. <laughs> Yo.